Hello and welcome to the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel. I'm Matt Mercer and I want to thank you for taking the time to tune in for this video. And for those of you that are woodsmen or trappers especially, you're probably starting to itch about right now as we're less than two weeks out from opening day of trapping season 2022. And I know for me, I am dying to get back out here for the opening day. Uh, in my area, the leaves are just starting to turn. We've got that morning chill in the air and you're starting to smell in the last couple of days that smell of autumn, the leaves dropping and just the smell of the earth. And that really calls to us as woodsmen and trappers and uh, makes you want to get out here and just enjoy the beautiful creation that God has given us. So getting ready for trapping season for me started back in the summer and I was looking over my traps. I always do that in the summer kind of itching for trapping season to hurry up and get here and I was going over my traps and I decided I really wanted to try to up my game and to get some better traps I've been using have a heart brand traps county line and a couple of other off brands that I've picked up in different places some of them I got from tractor supply and other uh, farm stores like that and I got a couple at flea markets at really good deals but all of those traps or a thinner gauge wire mesh that makes up the body of the trap and all of them have a treadle on the inside that the animal has to step on to set the door closed and most of those traps the treadle are pretty thin gauge material and when you get a big healthy raccoon in a trap like that he does everything he can to test the waters to try to find an out from that trap and a lot of times they'll pull on that treadle and they can bend that metal up and I always have to go back and be in things back into place and so forth and those traps have served me well they've been very functional and they'll serve me again this year but i was just looking for something a little more professional gauge and so i got online back in the summer doing some research and i came across the company called z traps and i was very impressed with the design of their cages so i reached out to them and they were actually gracious enough to send me a sample of one of their medium sized cages which is perfect for raccoons which is what i target while i'm trapping and I have to tell you guys, I'm just really impressed with the design of this Z-Trap cage. And so much so that I took it with me as my demo trap when I taught at the Pathfinder Gathering up in Ohio back in July this year. And when I taught that class, there was actually a couple of guys in the class that had a lot more experience cage trapping than me. One of them was actually a professional nuisance trapper, been doing it for decades. And uh, he took a look at this cage. He was not familiar with Z-Traps, but was very impressed with the design and the construction of it. So that said a lot to me that a professional trapper of many decades uh, liked the cage and thought it was well designed and put together. So I'm excited about using this this year and I wanted to share it with you guys in case you weren't familiar with Z-Traps. I wanna give you a close up of some of the features because it's very unique compared to most of the cages that I see and uh, let you guys take a look. So if you're interested in cage trapping, you want to take a look at this let's zoom in and get a better look right now all right so right off the bat one of the big differences with this z trap is the way the door is constructed on a standard have a heart style trap you have a full sheet metal door that lifts up and those doors don't open all the way they don't come to a 90 degree they stop short and they have a little spring device there that makes them shut and a lot of times when you buy those traps they're galvanized silver and silver sticks out in a woodland environment and my experience when i set a trap out that was silver like that it, it was shiny and i think animals were weary of it um, with this it's brown it's not a solid the animal can see through it so it looks a lot more natural in a woodland environment but the main thing for me is i want my traps to be concealed because i don't want other people who might be walking through this wooded area to see my trap easily if my traps are just sticking out it's more likely somebody's going to steal them and unfortunately that's possible where i'm at um, with this door all you have to do is lift these two rings right here and as you do that you have a balance bar that holds the door in place and that's it the trap is set that simple I really like this system. Again, there's no solid surface there. The animal can see through it and it's a lot less um, obtrusive for them. I also like that this door actually opens up a little bit more than 90 degrees. It's probably hard to see that, but where those other cage traps open less than 90, this goes just above 90. So it gives the animal more area here to enter into the trap. He's not having to walk under something that's totally solid. He can see through all of this. And again, I just think it's less obtrusive for the animal and probably less likely to spook the animal. So once the animal trips this thing, the door shuts and you have these two rings that make it impossible to open the trap. The only possible downfall to this would be if the animal were to completely roll the trap upside down, it would allow 
these rings to fall and the door to open. However, that's not going to happen to me because I stake my traps. I always just cut a couple of natural stakes, hammer them into the corners of the traps, and that way they, the animal cannot roll my cages. And that's something I've talked about in other videos before, and I'll demonstrate it again when we put this trap out. But anyway, to me, this is a big plus. All right, so I'm going to do my best to show you this. You can see I'm holding the door. You can see how that door is opened up more than 90 degrees. And that silver thing that you see down here is a cat food can. And I just have that zip tied into the bottom of the cage way at the back so I can put bait in there. And that way uh, it makes it harder for the animal to get at. It doesn't fall out and it stays in that little can. I uh, just have a couple of holes poked in the bottom so water can drain through. And if you notice down the bottom floor of this trap, there is no treadle. And the beauty of that is you can really set this thing down into the dirt to make the floor of the trap feel natural to the animal. And there's no treadle that he has to step on. The trigger, rather, is on top of the trap here. And there's just a simple bar that runs down. And it's set at 90 degrees down into the trap. And if you look right here, I'll make that move from the outside. You can see this little bar. And to get to the bait, the animal has to push that bar either left or right. And when he does, it drops the, the cage. That's just a balancing act, really, with this door. But when the animal pushes that either left or right, this drops down. I'll give you a better view of that. But just a, such a simple system, it's not going to get gummed up with debris. You don't have to clean out under that treadle. Just a simple, simple, smart design. Um, because all of the action is up here on the top. It's not down in the dirt or in the mud. Uh, just an awesome design. So, all right, so this is the front end of the trap and I'm going to open up the door and show you how this sits. All right, so all we have is this little balance bar here and it'll turn side to side. And with that, I just have to lean the door against that bar and that's it, it's set. It's just balanced there. Whenever the animal pushes the bar on the inside of the trap, it's going to turn that rod and hence release this door right here. So again, to set this trap, all we have to do is just balance this. And if I want to make it a little sensitive, I can kind of offset it slightly. But it's pretty sensitive anyway. But that's it. Simple as that to set this Z-trap cage. Perfect design. All right, so I'm going to show you a couple different views of setting this trap off. The animal comes in, tries to get to the bait, and he bumps that rod. And when he does, pushing it left or right, it will set the trap off. All right, so you can see that stick going in. As soon as it touches this bar right here, we release. So another feature that I really like about this Z-Trap is this bait door right here. It gives me access to the back of the trap. And you can see it's just a little cotter pin and I've attached a bank line lanyard to it so I don't drop the cotter pin down into the leaves. That thing's pretty tight, just pop that out. And now I can get to the bait tray back here and be able to rebait the trap or apply scent or things like that down into that little tray that I've attached. And then this is a nice heavy gauge steel. And when you seal that thing up with that cotter pin and nothing's coming through that. There we go. So again, I, if you get these, I highly recommend that you attach that cotter pin with a piece of cordage of some type because guess how I know <laughs> I've had to replace mine already. But just a great feature and it makes setting the trap so much easier. So one other feature I want to try to highlight on this Z-Trap is in the back corner where the bait goes from right here, which is about where the trigger is, just a little behind the trigger, all the way to the back. And across the back, they've added another layer of heavy gauge mesh. And this has been offset from the base layer to make these spaces that much harder for the animal to get his hands through. Hopefully you can see that being up close like that. But it makes these spaces very small. And if you've ever dealt with raccoons in a cage, they'll come and they'll get their hands through there and they'll dig out your bait and they'll get what they want so they don't have to go into the cage. But with this system right here, it's gonna be almost impossible for the animal to do that. There's just really not enough space for him to get his little paws through to get to your bait. And also having that can there makes that a little bit harder for him too, because your bait's confined to the center of the trap. Because I don't have that treadle in the bottom of the trap, I'm just shifting it forward and back like this, and dirt and leaves and things are starting to come up to cover the floor of the trap. And that just makes it more natural when the animal goes into the trap. It makes it just feel like part of the dirt. And as you can see, it looks very natural in there. There's no incline the animal has to step on. and just gives it a natural feel and a natural look that works.
All right, so I hope this is giving you guys a better look at this Z-Trap's medium cage. They also make a small and a larger version as well, and I'll definitely be adding some more mediums to my arsenal, and I would like to add a couple of larges as well. Now, as you can imagine, a trap like this is definitely more expensive than, say, a have a heart that you pick up at your local tractor supply, but the quality is far above that. So, and not only the quality of the trap, but the, in my opinion, the design is much better. It'll make you a more successful trapper, I believe, just because of the mechanics of the trap and, and definitely because of the quality design. It's just more convenient to use. So if you're somebody who plans to trap on going, or especially if you're like a semi-professional, professional nuisance trapper, you need traps that'll last for decades. This is more of an heirloom style trap that you can use indefinitely. So I hope you guys have enjoyed taking a look at this. I am not paid by Z-Traps in any way, only they sent me the sample to work with and I am happy to show this to you guys because it's something I believe in. So if you guys want to see more Black Hat Bushcraft stuff, there's plenty of outlets down below. I have a link tree, I've got Instagram, Facebook, I've got a lot of affiliate accounts. If you guys wanna check those things out, I always appreciate your interest and support. I'll definitely be talking to you with some more videos again very soon. It's fall. This is the sportsman's paradise of the year. And so I hope to take advantage of it as much as possible. And I hope you'll be out here taking advantage of it as well. I wish you and yours many blessings. And until the next video, you guys take care. And as always, God bless. Mm -hmm.